right, we're back with Dr. Joan Rosenberg. Joan, let's talk about brain integration and storytelling. What do they have to do with each other? Uh, let's brain integration, storytelling, and health. Okay, cool. Health. What's so interesting about this is, is think of an integrated brain is a healthy brain. Mm. So what, what exactly does that mean? Yeah. It means that the left hemisphere <clears throat> of our brain and the right hemisphere of our brain are coordinating and integrating together. And when they do that, our brain is actually working more efficiently and more effectively and we're healthier. Okay. So, so if I'm, if I'm not, if my, if stuff is like, I haven't worked through my stories Yeah. and I'm always flooded with emotion, then it's like my right hemisphere is in charge. Okay. If I've shut down on all my emotion and I'm kind of rigid and monotone and <laughs> not very engaged and kind of flat, <clears throat> then my left hemisphere is in charge. Huh. So too rid think too rigid, too left hemispheric. Yep. Too chaotic, too flooded. Yeah. Think too right hemispheric. Got it. Okay. What we want is a brain that actually does both. Yeah. The interesting thing about when we start to tell our stories, it, uh, what ends up happening is that the brain actually gets more integrated. So the left hemisphere is logical, it's linear, and it uses language. Okay. The right hemisphere is a lot of our autobiographical memories. It's feeling, mm. it's bodily sensations, it's everything else but the words. Yeah. So when we start to tell our stories, we're literally taking words and integrating them with experience. So words from our left integrated with experience from our right. As soon as we do that, we integrate the brain. An integrated brain is a healthy brain. Wow. So the, the, the story, to, and the other thing I think to think about here is that lots of times when we haven't told what's going on in our lives, yeah, then, then what, it's like all, you have all these kind of disparate episodes of your life. One here, one here, one here, one here. They're just not, to, they don't make sense. Yeah. Like in a chronological order, I couldn't, I couldn't narrate then my, the story of my life. And instead, if I start to tell my stories, then, I, again, by integrating the brain, I also start to create a kind of a chronological history. Mm, like a thematic? Thematic, like, yeah, thematic yeah. and history of my life. So I have more of a coherent narrative of my life. Right. So I go from all these disparate episodes to this coherent narrative. Wow. So to tell your story and to make sense of your stories helps the brain be more integrated and as a result you become much more emotionally healthy wow that's cool that's really cool i then and like i said i think i said this before is is you know i didn't set out to tell stories for health right but you get health exactly it's so cool let's talk about this joan going forward like so say you know you're 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 starting to tell your stories and you're getting this integration right and you're getting opt you're starting to get optimum health right People are starting to follow you. And this theme seems to keep recurring in your whole life. Okay. Like from the time you're right. eight to the time you're 55. Right, yeah. And you kind of see your life as this story. Right. Going forward, right. the story that you tell yourself going forward, or that we were talking about earlier about our kids, right. how we talk to them about their story right. and who they are yep. going forward. How does that all work? So two different two different trails there. Okay. So the, with the kids, it, what becomes super important, especially if you have young children, but even if you have adolescents, engage them in storytelling. Ask them to talk about the experiences in their life. Actually narrate their experiences. Got it. And when, when a child narrates his or her experience, they make more sense of it and they remember it better. Huh. A lot of times I'll, and actually a lot of times at your events, I'll engage with people and they go, well, I don't remember my childhood. Yeah. They probably shut down on the experience and never described what they were feeling or what they thought about what they went through. Mm -hmm. So super important, not only for you, but for your kids, ask them to put words to their experience. Mm. And then they'll actually be healthier as they grow up. Yeah. 
because they've made meaning of it. Got it. Wow. That's cool. They've talked about the impact. And then, again, they'll remember those experiences in childhood through adulthood. Wow. That's the power of storytelling. Yeah. You know, you take on your own life. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. So, so let's take let's take the second trail kind of that we mentioned earlier. Okay. The, and that that is that the interesting thing is even if we have identified that we kind of this is who we say we are right. from eight to fifty five or like, whatever it was. Hey, I'm disciplined, or, or I seem to be a hard worker, or whatever right, it is. Right. Right. Or I seem to be lazy. Right. That's our story. Well, that's what we've claimed as our story. Okay. The interesting thing is once again once you make sense of your story. Once you understand the impact and meaning the experiences you went through have had on your life, yeah. then you actually can let go of that story right. and choose to be something different. Right. That's the beauty of it. It's like, I don't have to continue to be who I was told I was, and I don't have to continue to be who I thought I was. Right. I actually get to choose, yeah. once I've made sense of something, yeah. To be something different than I was. Right. It, right. That's the coolest. It's so freeing. Yeah, like for the first time, you are the actual author in charge of the story of your life going forward. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's very cool. That way, you you know, you're not victimized anymore by the story of your life. Much more powerful and much more fully expressed. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Uh, everyone. You, you've probably heard me say this uh, before if you've ever been to my uh, events with Joan, is er, the, all of this stuff that we're talking about for me is storytelling, health, um, expression. It's all been very guttural and kind of instinctual and primitive for me. And so when I have Joan, uh, when we're together, she always puts words to the, oh, to the instinct that I'm feeling, right, right. you know, yeah, and and what, you know, uh, like trying to tell my story just to express myself, but but getting all this health over here, you <laughs> know, which right. I never that's set right. out to yeah. do, right. And that's why I just think it's it's the it, it is the one thing that you must take on in your life. Absolutely, absolutely. That's one of the single most important things you can do is actually to take the time to make sense of your life stories. How did they impact you? What meaning did they hold? Who did you become when you first experienced them? What choices did you make? And who did you then become as an adult? How did they impact you well into adulthood? Make sense of that material. Make sense of those life experiences. Once you do that, you free the emotion and, and you have changed beliefs about yourself. And as you've been talking about earlier, you also find your voice in that. Mm -hmm. And then you're more fully expressed. Yep. You make you just freer expression, more choice. Yep. More power. That's great. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Awesome.